read into as this dude was doing this to me and how I handled it. And then I'm also going to break down a few alternate scenarios that you could have used to handle it if you didn't want to take the one that I used. But the reason that these kind of scenarios are very important and the reason that I try to give a lot of real life examples to you is because you need the confidence, most importantly, that you can handle anything thrown at you. But right now you're thinking, man, I really don't know what I would have done if that guy would have said that to me. Well, now you're going to be scared and that's going to be in, in, in any kind of an environment. And that's going to show you're not going to have that sway. You're not going to have that confidence. You're not going to have that magnetism. Because you're going to be a little reserved. Don't don't mess with me. Don't 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 say anything to me. I can't be too out there. I can't draw too much attention to me. Because if I do, it's the long blade of grass that gets cut, or whatever the saying is. So we got to get around that. We got to be a hundred percent sure that in any situation we can handle ourselves socially. So let's start with this. So when this guy, when I saw him at the bar. It was a better looking guy, a taller guy, very loose, casual body. 